as things go on again, once again, we are hunting for Waldo. Um, uh, another PET scan was repeated uh, twice in 2020, showed this same 0.3 centimeter nodule. Throughout this time, the patient remained 100% asymptomatic. Apart from me making her anxious for doing all these tests, she was functioning, <laughs> feeling well, no bone pain, really nothing. We did a number of other tests, which I've listed there, ultrasound, CT, neck, chest, nuclear medicine, bone scan, I-123 scan, really nothing. I have taken her to tumor board at least three times. There was question about, are we missing an occult bone metastasis? Um, finally, uh, we seem to have uh, cropped up with an answer here. This is a recent FDG pet just from last November. There are now five pulmonary nodules. The one we've been watching is larger. The SUV, as I'll show you in a slide in a minute, is markedly increased. There are three new nodules, and one that they're saying in retrospect was only two millimeters before is, only, is now four millimeters. But once again, there's no lesions anywhere else. So again, is there a disconnect between the level of thyroglobulin and what we're finding on both our anatomic and functional imaging.